Buckle up, hey everybody, my name is Age and welcome to my channel. Have you ever been playing a game and thought, I could make this but like a million times better? Well, you absolutely can, and I'm here to show you how. We're diving deep into the world of game development, breaking down every single step from brain blast to finished product. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. First things first, we gotta understand what makes a game, you know, uh, we're talking about core mechanics how the story unfolds and why players get hooked. It's like, what makes you want to rage? Quit one game, but spend literally every waking moment on another. We're gonna be diving deep into reward systems, those delicious dopamine hits that keep us coming back for more. We'll dissect difficulty curves because nobody likes a game that's over before it starts or impossible to beat. And of course, UX design, because if the game is a pain to navigate, nobody's gonna play it. Pay attention to what works, what doesn't, and why some games just stick with you forever. All right, so you've got your game idea. You're practically overflowing with creativity. Now, we've got to give that creativity a place to run wild. That's where game engines come in. Think of it like choosing the right tool for the job. You wouldn't use a hammer to build a house, right? We've got some heavy hitters in the game engine world. Unity, Unreal Engine, and the underdog, Godot. Unity's like the friendly giant, super beginner friendly, especially if you're thinking about mobile games. Unreal Engine, that's your Hollywood blockbuster engine, perfect for those jaw-dropping graphics and mind-blowing 3D worlds. And then there's Godot, the open source champion, completely free to use and it can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. Once you've picked your champion, download it, install it and get ready to get your hands dirty with some tutorials. Oh, okay, time to talk about the backbone of game development. The stuff that makes all the pretty pictures actually something programming. I know, I know, it sounds scary, but trust me, it's not as intimidating as you think. Plus, it's crazy rewarding when you see your code come to life. Now, the language you'll learn depends on your chosen engine. Rocking with Unity, C Hash is your new best friend. Went with Unreal Engine, time to master C++ or get friendly with their visual scripting system blueprints. We'll be building some classic games along the way, like a retro 2D platformer or a good old-fashioned game of Pong. Chapter 4. Mastering Your Tools. Game Engine Deep Dive. All right, you've dipped your toes into the programming pool. Now it's time to become the Michael Phelps of game development. We're going deep into the heart of your chosen game engine, exploring all the bells and whistles that make your games truly shine. Get ready to wrangle with physics engines bringing realistic movement and collisions to your games. We'll make things move smoothly with animation systems, breathing life into your characters and objects. And for that extra visual flair, we'll unleash the power of particle systems, creating dazzling effects that'll leave your players in awe. That's where the asset store for Unity or the marketplace for Unreal Engine come in. Think of them like giant digital toy boxes packed with pre-made assets, from textures and models to entire scripts and plugins. The more you play around, the more comfortable you'll become with the tools at your disposal. Chapter 5. Bringing your world to life, game art and animation, time to unleash your inner artist. While you don't need to be the next Picasso to make awesome games, a little artistic flair goes a long way. Don't worry, we're not talking about painting masterpieces here, but understanding the basics of two-dimensional and three-dimensional art can make a world of difference. The three-dimensional modeling Blender's your new best friend. It's free, powerful, and there are tons of tutorials out there to get you started. If two-dimensional art's more your style, Photoshop's the industry standard, but there are plenty of other great options out there too. Learning how to make things move with grace and personality is crucial for bringing your games to life. Chapter six, the sound of games, audio design. Sound design often gets overlooked, but trust me, it's crucial for creating an immersive and emotionally engaging gaming experience. Think about it, those epic soundtracks that get your heart racing, the satisfying crunch of a perfectly timed headshot, the creepy ambient noises that send shivers down your spine. Sound design is what brings your game world to life. We'll dive into the world of sound effects and music, exploring how they work together to create specific moods and atmospheres. For basic audio editing, Audacity is a great free tool. And when it comes to finding or creating sound effects, check out websites like BFSR and freesound.org. Pay attention to how they make you feel and how they enhance the gameplay experience. Chapter seven, from zero to hero building and publishing your games. 
All right, you've learned the ropes, mastered your tools, and your game is just bursting to be shared with the world. But hold your horses. We're not done yet. Building and publishing a game is a whole other beast, but don't worry, we'll tackle it together. First things first, start small, build simple games, get comfortable with the entire development pipeline from concept to completion. Version control is your new best friend, especially if you're working with a team. Gets the industry standard, and it's essential for keeping track of your code changes, collaborating with others, and avoiding those dreaded project-breaking mistakes. Once your game's up and running, test it, test it again, and then test it some more. Get feedback from friends, family, anyone who will give you an honest opinion. Iterate on your design, polish those mechanics, and make sure your game is the best it can be. Now, the moment of truth publishing. There are tons of platforms out there, from itch.io and Game Jolt for indie devs to Steam, the App Store, and Google Play for the big leagues. Engage with players, get active on social media, and spread the word about your awesome creation. Chapter 8. Joining the Tribe Game Development Communities Game development can be a solitary endeavour, but it doesn't have to be. There's a massive, welcoming community of game devs out there, all eager to share their knowledge, collaborate on projects, and help each other succeed. So, let's dive into the wonderful world of game dev communities. Reddit's R Game Dev is a great place to start. It's a treasure trove of resources, tutorials, and discussions on all things game development. You'll also find dedicated forums for specific engines like Unity and Unreal Engine, where you can ask for help, share your work, and connect with fellow developers. If you're looking for a more real-time interaction, Discord's the way to go. There are tons of game dev Discord servers out there, ranging from general communities to groups focused on specific genres, engines, or disciplines. Now let's talk about game jams. These are events where developers come together to create games within a short time frame, usually a weekend or a few days. Game jams are a fantastic way to challenge yourself, learn new skills, and collaborate with other passionate individuals. Remember, game development's a journey, not a race. Surround yourself with supportive and inspiring individuals and don't be afraid to ask for help, share your knowledge, and celebrate each other's successes. This is chapter nine, level up your skills, never stop learning. Congratulations, my friend, you've reached the final level. But here's the thing about game development, it never truly ends. The industry's constantly evolving, with new technologies, techniques, and trends emerging all the time. To stay ahead of the curve, you've got to embrace lifelong learning. Make it a habit to stay updated with the latest industry news, read game dev blogs and articles, and follow your favorite developers and studios on social media. GDC, Game Developers Conference, is a massive annual event where industry professionals from around the world come together to share their knowledge, showcase new technologies, and connect with one another. Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and experiment with new genres, mechanics, and technologies. Virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, are becoming increasingly popular, opening up a whole new world of immersive gaming experiences. The more you learn, the more you'll grow as a game developer, and the more amazing your games will become. And there you have it, folks. We've covered a ton of ground, from the very basics of game design to the nitty-gritty of publishing and beyond. Remember, game development's a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, dedication, and a whole lot of passion. But trust me, the feeling of seeing your game come to life and knowing that you created it from scratch, that's a feeling like no other. So go forth and create. And don't be afraid to experiment, to fail, to learn from your mistakes, and most importantly, to have fun. The world needs your unique voice and your amazing game ideas. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on game development and other tech topics. Happy developing, happy.